This one is called the Ziggy, and it's gonna come from an inside leg hang. It works great on spin or static. Um, I don't notice a big impact from the spin on this one, as in the spin doesn't make it harder or easier, but that being said, as with all moves on pole, if you're more comfortable on static, everything's gonna feel more comfortable on static, okay? So if spin kind of throws you off a little bit, you're definitely gonna to wanna to probably start with this one on static. So, very comfortable in your inside leg hang, and relatively comfortable or not new to pushing things with your bottom arm, such as with a Pegasus or a butterfly or that kind of thing, because there is kind of a funky angle of push with this one, okay? And it is gonna lose some elevation. Um, you can get into it just from an invert from the ground if your invert is getting up high enough, but as I said, it does kind of lose a little elevation when we drop down into it from our inside leg hang, so you're probably best to go like either a baby climb up or descend down into your leg hang just so you have a little bit of room so that you don't finally get almost to the pose and have your toes dragging on the ground okay so we're going to go into an inside leg hang however you want to get into that okay as soon as you go into it your inside hand is going to stay there right behind your knee you're gonna open your outside hand around, look for the pole and grab thumb up and push the pole until it kind of gets to the back of your neck. Bottom arm is gonna slide down so you feel your forearm pushing against the pole. Push your head back into the pole and then if that feels comfortable, you're gonna release that top arm, grab that free leg and extend it out. To come out, re-grab, you can pull yourself up to come out, go into a regular inside leg hang, an outside leg hang, or whatever you want to be. Okay, so let's talk about our points of contact on this. It's an inside leg hang-ish, okay? You're not gonna feel it in your knee, you're gonna feel it a lot on that inner thigh, okay? But as you can see, when I drop into it, it loses some elevation, okay? In a leg hang, usually we feel the pull right here, right? That's kind of our, our sticky spot that we wanna be in, our magical spot inside outside leg hang, is that little squishy spot between our ribs and our hip. With this one, as you saw, as soon as I get into it, I'm gonna drop my head down, which then moves my contact point from being here to all the way up here, okay? So when the outside hand comes away from the pull, look at your hand, follow it down, let your chest open up away from the pull, and then you're gonna grab with that thumb up pushing with it so that the pull comes from on your back, pushing until it ends up more at your upper traps and the back of your neck, okay? Where exactly it hits for everyone is gonna be a little bit different, but I find with this one, the more I get it into my traps area, right up in here, the more locked in I am and the less this bottom arm has to do, okay? If it's farther down on my back, my back's touching, but it's not really giving me the same um, tension point and a uh, substantial point of contact, which means a lot of the weight ends up being in this arm that's behind your head, what can be a lot of um, stress on that bottom shoulder, okay? Also on that note, remember, not every pull move works for every body. If you have really tight shoulders or you have a funky shoulder, I would discourage you from putting, if you have a, a shoulder that's not 100%, putting that as your down shoulder because it definitely does put more stress on that bottom shoulder, okay? So that bottom arm, let's talk about what's happening with that point of contact. When the arm grabs, you're gonna let yourself slide down so that you start to get your forearm on the pole. Whether it's your whole forearm, just your wrist crossing, that's gonna vary person to person depending on where you feel that push. It's very similar to what we would do with a forearm climb where you feel that push into the pole. It's gonna be different for everyone. But you wanna make sure you don't just feel your hand, you feel either wrist area or somewhere in here. So it's gonna be a little bit different for everyone depending on your flexibility and your comfort contact points, okay? So that bottom arm is pushing. Bottom arm is pushing, back of the neck or upper traps. And once I feel this spot on my back of my neck, I think of engaging my upper back and lifting my chest. And in doing that, it's gonna push this point of contact into the pole more, once again, taking some of that stress off of that bottom shoulder. Okay, because if all your weight is relying on that bottom shoulder that's behind your head, it can be a lot of stress on that bottom shoulder. Okay, so we've got inside leg contact points. We've got the back here. We've got that bottom forearm. And initially that top hand was on, but remember that top hand is gonna come off and grab that free leg. How you grab that free leg, whether you go thumb down, thumb away, it's gonna be personal preference. I generally tend to like to go thumb away 
But once again, that's going to be personal preference, depending on your flexibility. If it's too much to grab the leg straight, grab it bent, make your own variation of it. Okay. So with those point of contacts in mind, let's look at it again. Okay. Inside leg, leave the inside hand, fall away. See how my leg rotates out as my arm does? Thumb up, push. So it gets more to the back of my neck. Slide that bottom hand up just a little bit. Let myself sink down into that forearm. I'm pushing my head back into the pull and then grabbing that bottom arm and extending, or I'm sorry, bottom leg and extending out. Ready to come out, rehook, bring your way out however you want to come out. Whew. And that, my friends, is the Ziggy. Try it on spin, try it on static, try it on your left side, try it on your right side, have some fun with it, put it together with some of your favorite combos. Let me know how it goes.